What's up everyone? Here's a question I get all the time. I get a bunch of comments. I did a build series a few years ago on an 84 Easy Go golf cart. And I get, I still get comments on those videos. Hey, what happened to the golf cart? Did you ever finish it? Yeah, I finished it. I've been riding it. I've been ripping it. I've been rolling it. But I never did an actual finished video of it because I never really actually finished it. So I figured, what the heck? Let, well, let's show you what I did come up with. But it's not 100% complete. It's 95. Uh, about the only thing I ever never finished was the grill and the headlights. But I never really ride it at night, so I really don't need headlights. And I don't know, I just really could never come up with a good design on the grill. I wanted to do some bead rolling. I wanted to use stainless, and stainless is really hard to bead roll. And I don't know, maybe I'll get back to it someday when I don't have any other stuff to work on. But here it is. 1984 easy go golf cart two stroke i rebuilt the engine in it i put a new primary clutch on it uh i've done a, a new starter alternator on it i did some different tires i did some these little cheap hubcaps they're, they're really expensive like 40 bucks for the hubcaps but it dresses it up did a really cool metal flake paint job on it but it ain't sunny enough out right now can't really see the metal flake in it but in the sunlight it really really pops i did a rainbow flake in there and it looks just awesome. I let Megan and my wife pick out the colors uh, or the color of the paint, put a roof on it, and I got it really low. I, I made my own um, roof bars and stuff, and it's like four or five inches, maybe even six inches lower than what your standard top would be. So I kind of chopped it. You know, I kind of like to do my little customizations to things, you know, and I put a steering wheel in it off of my 29 Ford Roadster because I was redoing the Roadster at the time. And so I had an extra steering wheel around. So I threw the steering wheel on it off the Roadster, recovered the seats, uh, got the seat covers off of, God, I don't remember. Like I said, I built this thing like three years ago. So I don't really remember where I got all the stuff. Built the aluminum box for it put a little tailgate on it my neighbor had a box on his easy go and his was all made out of steel so i just kind of used his as uh kind of a, a design you know i kind of went off what he had and his was all steel and so i just made up this one out of aluminum and uh God, it's really nice having the box like that i didn't need a rear seat in it and uh so i just built the box and that thing's so handy i, I throw everything in the back of that thing but uh yeah, so we've been rocking this thing for a while, like I said. Um, let's go for a ride, huh? No sense listening to me talk about it. Let's go hear it run. We'll take a little zip down the driveway on it and stuff. And That's a pretty fun little rig. It goes about 20, I think I've had it up to 20, 22. I put electric fuel pump in it too. The factory one, I don't know. I rebuilt it twice and finally I just went to an electric fuel pump and set the fuel pressure at like one and a half pounds or something. This thing's a pretty fun rig. Let me shut the pump up. You guys can hear the pump clicking now. So yeah, there it is. 1984 Easy Go golf cart two-stroke.